Hey guys, it's Dave for Computing Forever, and in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about my life since going smartphoneless over two years ago. It's actually coming up on the second anniversary since I downgraded to this Nokia 113 from what was an iPhone 3GS. I held on to my iPhone 3GS for about two years after getting it, and I was always kind of, will I upgrade? Will I get a a higher-end smartphone and instead I decided to go in the opposite direction and downgrade for a lot of I think pretty good reasons and someone messaged me on the channel and was looking at doing the same thing and wanted an update on how I've been doing and by no means am I like pushing an anti-smartphone agenda on anybody and if you have a smartphone you love your smartphone I think that's great but what I'm really trying to do and raise awareness of there is a percentage of people who smartphones are kind of a, not a great idea in their lives in particular and for me the reason I downgraded was I started to feel more and more chained to my smartphone a little bit. I am a desktop user, I'm in the classic sense, I like old school type of computing, mouse, keyboard, and you know, just having the internet, having my machine, having all my files in a room effectively. Yes, I have a laptop as well. For me, I like computing in that sense. And what was happening was, as a YouTuber, and you're constantly getting, you know, you have your own YouTube business, and I'm constantly getting emails all the time with comments and questions and everything else, I wasn't able to turn off in the evening time. So I would make a video and I, either I would be you know, finished for the day, I would go downstairs and I would watch TV or I'd go out for a walk or I'd go out with friends or I'd go out for a night out. And to kill time, you know, the smartphone would come out and, and I would just start, oh, just see how the video's doing, how many likes is it getting, how many views, how many comments are coming in. And before you know it, you're back in work again, you're in work mode again and it never ends. And it was very much the same with social media. I, I had a personal Facebook, which I closed in 2012 because I found that there was just, you know, might, might have been an hour or two a day, you know, spread across the entire day, little moments here and there, five, 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes here and there, of just being on Facebook and compulsively seeing, you know, I put up an update, who liked it, who commented, you know, what's going on in my Facebook feed at the moment. And also feeling this obligation to like other people's status updates, no matter how crap and boring they were. And that, and as well as that, the, the, the third thing really, so email, social media, and also video games. So I was, you know, I've mentioned this before, uh, I love video games, but having them constantly on the go and that compulsiveness to just keep pulling out your smartphone and killing time or wasting a lot of time or eating up large portions of your day, uh, you know, playing something and, you know, unlocking this and scoring that and sharing your, your achievements on social media. And it just became like this addiction and I've said this to a few people and, and there's, a, there's a weird reaction when it comes to downgrading. And the, the, first, the first thing is that it wasn't a big deal at all. I mean, the things that annoy me about this phone is the old school texting, because I obviously do texting, texting and, and calling, whatever, that's all it can do. You know, obviously if you press the button several times to get the letter that you want, that's annoying. So the texts don't tend to be very long. I miss that. I miss the camera. I miss having a really good camera on the go. That's it. That are the only two things that I miss. Everything else, not interested at all. I like being able to close the computer down at the end of the day and the internet is off. You know what I mean? It's like putting the internet away in its box, in its place, and it's compartmentalizing it. It's a way, it has its own space and it can't encroach on the rest of my life or the rest of my day at all and I'm free from it. When it comes to smartphones, it's a way bigger thing to get for your smartphone. It took me another year after Facebook to finally get rid of it. And when I did, it was a massive weight off the shoulders. No longer did I, you know, would I be doing one thing and then go, okay, I wonder what my smartphone is doing right now. And I, I mean, this was a time when things like Viber and WhatsApp and Instagram and all of these things were very much in their infancy and there were, there's just tons more things now. There's so many more social media websites and apps and things that are, it's insane the amount of things that you're expected to be connected to and the, the things that are, ex, are expected to serve functions in your life and you're supposed to care about all of these things. I mean, I don't know how people go through their day anymore. It, it's, it's something that I'm glad from a, from a communication, social media perspective that I've lost touch with that. I mean, I, as you can clearly see, I still review the smartphones. I still, you know, enjoy using them, but in a, in a very smaller kind of measured, moderate level, you know, it's everything in moderation. And 
it, it's fun to play around with them, but it, it's kind of nice to, to hand them back as well. The really interesting thing is the reactions of people when you tell them that you've downgraded. So if I meet people for the first time in a social setting and you, you know, they look at your phone, some, some people react in different ways. They look at your phone and they're like, what the hell is that? You know, you're still rocking an old phone. Oh, you need to upgrade, you need to get a smartphone. Everybody's trying to get you hooked on those things, you know? And, uh, and I'm like, no, you know, it's like I actually had a smartphone and I downgraded. And then when you tell them that, there's a few reactions, you know, there's a few different types of reactions. Some people are like skeptical, you know, and particularly me, because they, they, they say, oh, you're, you're a technology journalist and that's your phone. And the other reactions are, oh, interesting. Yeah, geez, I, I wanted to do that actually. Oh, a friend of mine did that. And then it starts to come out then, you know, that they're at the back of their mind, they might be a little fed up as well. When I meet other technology journalists or people in the tech sector, their reactions are interesting because sometimes you get this kind of, whoa, you know, you, you went hardcore, you went back, man. You know, <laughs> you kind of feel like in some ways, some people think that you're really behind the curve because you don't have a smartphone. And then there's the other people who think, whoa, you know, you're really far ahead of the curve. You're, you're so far ahead, you've gone back again, right? <laughs> it's really weird. So I'm actually going to a tech conference next week and that'll be very interesting because, you know, I'll be again, networking and surrounded by, you know, meeting all these people who are in hardcore tech people and I expect tons of heads down, you know, no heads up, nobody really looking at each other in the eye. It's got to be like heads down, burying a tablet, smartphones. That's the way it's going to be. What do you expect? That's, that's the world of tech. And it's going to be very interesting um, to, to tell people, you know, I downgraded, you know, because occasionally it is kind of, like, hey, 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 look, look at this, look at this, this guy downgraded, you know, it's good like that. So uh, the people who are cool about it, most people are cool about it. There's always, you're always going to get assholes. A lot of people are, you know, people are genuinely kind of concerned about it's human nature. Like, what do other people think of me? You know, I just, I just, you know, really, I really just don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> you have to live for yourself. And if smartphones are the right thing for you, the right tool for you, and you've got them in moderation, then you should keep using a smartphone and no problem at all. I would encourage people to not, you know, be bought, buy into the, the need to constantly upgrade every 18 months to two years or whatever. You can hold on to your smartphone longer. Um, I, often when people say I need to upgrade my smartphone, they don't really need to, they just want to and they're kind of taken in by the marketing and, and advertising of, of a company. Um, but you know, if you want to upgrade, that's absolutely fine. I just really want people to get their money's worth out of technology um, for however long they can. If you feel that your smartphone is becoming a really an, an inhibitor to your happiness and to your, your attention span and to your mental well-being and everything else, and you're really just not enjoying the experience. Well, downgrading actually is a lot easier than you might think, and you have to give it time, you know? And, and as they say, what does it take three weeks to make a new habit or a new re routine? And it takes a while, but you'd be surprised how quickly you'll get back up to speed. It's not really a big deal. You were there before. We're not doing anything that is unusual. I'm sure you had a, a regular, you know, crappy feature phone, or, or as they call them now, dumb phone before. So it's nothing that you couldn't do again if you didn't want to. So anyway, guys, I'm really interested in your thoughts on this subject, what your relationship is like with your smart device and whether you even own one and whether you've downgraded or whether you've considered it or whether you've just kind of changed maybe your usage habits and usage patterns with your smartphone. Maybe you were using it too much and now you're kind of trying to find a routine that's better in your balance with your smartphone. Please comment below, I'm really interested in, in this kind of topic. Please hit that subscribe button, like button, all that stuff, share it, and uh, let the world know that it exists. And of course, you can check out my previous video, it's over on the left-hand side, links all below, and everything else. Thanks so much again for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.